Americans consume more than 6 billion pounds of spaghetti every year, making it one of the most beloved comfort foods in the country. Whether it's drenched in marinara sauce, baked into a cheesy casserole, or served simply with olive oil. And garlic spaghetti holds a cherished place on dinner tables from coast to coast. But have you ever paused to wonder how these long, golden strands make their way from a simple grain of wheat to your plate? It's a process that blends farming tradition with cutting-edge technology. And today, we're going behind the scenes at a state-of-the-art spaghetti production facility to trace every step of the journey. The story of spaghetti begins far from the kitchen in vast, sun-drenched fields of durum wheat. This hard variety of wheat is prized for its high protein content and yellow endosperm, which gives pasta its signature color and bite. Every June, in wheat-growing regions like North Dakota, Saskatchewan, and Southern Australia, the fields shimmer like gold as harvest season kicks into high gear. Towering combine harvesters, some capable of cutting and collecting more than 90 tons of wheat per hour, glide across the land. These machines slice through the stalks with surgical precision, separating the wheat kernels from the chaff in a matter of seconds. What's left behind are clean golden grains destined for transformation. Once harvested, Wheat begins its next chapter as it's transported to massive industrial pasta plants. Here, it's stored in towering silos designed to keep the grain dry, cool, and protected until it's ready for processing. When it's time to begin the transformation, the wheat is sent to an advanced cleaning station. High-speed mechanical filters remove dust, rocks, soil, and other impurities, ensuring that only the purest kernels continue onward. Cleanliness isn't just about food safety, the foundation for quality pasta. Even the smallest contaminant can affect taste, color, or texture, which is why the cleaning phase is so crucial. After cleaning, the wheat heads to the milling section of the factory. This is where the magic starts to happen. The grain is passed through a series of industrial rollers and sifters designed to break it down in layers. The goal is to separate the outer bran layer from the nutrient trich cortha endosperm. What results is semolina flour, a coarse, slightly yellow flour with a grainy texture and a mild, nutty aroma. Unlike all purpose flour, semolina is less processed and retains the qualities that make pasta chewy, firm, and elastic. Thanks to decades of advancement in milling technology, the output is consistent and finely tuned. Uniform particle size ensures that the spaghetti made from this flour will cook evenly and maintain its structure, even when tossed in hot sauce. Once the semolina has passed all quality checks, it moves to the mixing area. Here, it's combined with precise amounts of water, sometimes eggs, depending on the recipe and mixed into a dough. The consistency has to be just right. Too much moisture and the dough becomes too soft to shape. Too little and it crumbles. Under pressure, industrial mixers, some of which can handle several tons of dough at a time, knead the mixture until it's perfectly elastic. This stage is all about precision. Sensors and computerized controls ensure that the water to semolina ratio remains accurate down to the milliliter. The dough is then rested briefly allowing the gluten network to form and strengthen. Once the dough reaches the ideal consistency, it's time for extrusion. The dough is forced through metal dice plates with small openings that shape the pasta into long, uniform strands. For spaghetti, the holes are round and thin, producing the familiar noodle shape we all recognize. As the dough is extruded, it's immediately cut to the desired length and sent down a conveyor belt. At this point, the strands of pasta are still soft and pliable, almost like thick ropes of Play-Doh, but not for long. They're quickly organized into hanging racks or trays and moved into large, temperature-controlled drying chambers. Drying is a critical stage that turns raw dough into shelf-stable spaghetti. In these massive rooms, air is carefully circulated and the temperature is slowly increased over several hours. If the pasta dries too quickly, 
it can crack too slowly and it risks growing mold or losing structural integrity. The airflow, heat, and humidity are all closely monitored to maintain optimal drying conditions. As the moisture content drops, the pasta hardens into the dry, golden strands we find in grocery store aisles. Once fully dried, the spaghetti is brittle but strong, capable of withstanding boiling water without falling apart. After drying, each batch of spaghetti undergoes final inspections. Quality assurance technicians check the color, length, texture, and moisture content. Pasta that doesn't meet strict criteria is rejected or recycled. Approved spaghetti is cut to retail-friendly lengths, weighed, and packaged, sometimes boxed, sometimes bagged, depending on the brand. From there, it's labeled, sealed, and sent off to distribution centers across the country, eventually landing on the shelves of your local supermarket. From the wide open wheat fields of North America to the quiet hum of factory drying rooms. The path of spaghetti is one of tradition meeting technology. It's a testament to how much care and science goes into making something that seems so simple on the surface. Behind every bite of spaghetti is a finely tuned system involving farmers engineers, millers, and quality control experts working in harmony. Ever wondered how those perfect strands of spaghetti make their way from a bag in your pantry to a bubbling pot of water? Behind every box of pasta lies an incredibly precise, high-tech process that transforms simple wheat flour into one of the most beloved foods in the world. From high-speed mixing and shaping to delicate drying and packaging, the spaghetti-making journey is a fascinating mix of tradition and technology. Let's step inside a modern pasta factory to uncover exactly how this culinary staple is made. On a massive scale, the process begins with a critical ingredient semolina flour, made from durum wheat, which gives spaghetti its signature firmness and golden color. Factories start by measuring out precise quantities of flour and water, combining them in a high-capacity mixer that turns the dry mixture into a thick, pliable dough. This stage isn't just about texture. It's also where nutritional enhancements can be made. Many pasta producers enrich the flour with essential vitamins and minerals like iron and folic acid, making sure that every forkful of spaghetti isn't just delicious, but also nutritionally sound. Before this dough can be transformed into those long, conic strands. It first goes through a vital intermediate step. The mixture is pressed and shaped into large sheets. This step may seem unnecessary at first glance, but it plays a crucial role in evening out moisture levels and eliminating unwanted air pockets. The result is a consistent, uniform dough that's easier to handle and better suited for the next. Phase dash extrusion. The sheets of dough are fed into a powerful extruder, a machine equipped with metal plates called dies. These dies are designed with pinpoint accuracy and have rows of tiny holes that shape the dough into spaghetti. The materials used in these dies typically bronze or Teflon directly affect the texture and cooking quality of the final product. Bronze dies, for example, create a slightly rougher surface that holds onto sauce better while Teflon-coated dyes produce a smoother noodle that cooks quickly and evenly. Modern extrusion machines are monitored in real time using advanced sensors that ensure the dough is shaped evenly and precisely, eliminating the risk of clumping or irregular strands. Once extruded, the fresh spaghetti noodles are incredibly delicate and require gentle handling. They are transferred onto specialized racks that prevent the strands from bending, breaking, or tangling. These racks are part of an extensive conveyor system that moves the pasta through the facility without a single human hand needing to touch the product. This design ensures both hygiene and efficiency. The spaghetti is hung vertically in straight lines either on rods or hooks and then transported through a multi-stage drying system. This stage is arguably one of the most important in the entire production line. The drying process is no simple task.
The noodles pass through a series of chambers where temperature, humidity, and airflow are all carefully regulated. If the pasta dries too fast, it could crack. Too slow, and bacteria could grow. That's why modern factories rely on precision, controlled environments that mimic natural drying conditions while drastically speeding up the process. The end goal is to reduce the moisture content to about 12% ideal for long-term shelf life and perfect. Pasta texture. Once completely dried, the spaghetti is moved to an automated cutting station. Here, razor-sharp blades zip across the conveyor. Belts slicing each strand to a uniform length. Consistency is critical. Only does it ensure a neat appearance inside the packaging. But it also guarantees even cooking for consumers at home. After cutting, the spaghetti bundles are aligned and grouped using sophisticated alignment systems that gently guide the noodles into place without causing breakage. These machines operate at remarkable speeds, but with an almost human level. Of care dot from there, it's time for packaging. Whether the spaghetti is destined for plastic wrap or cardboard boxes, the process is fully automated. Packaging material is unwound from huge rolls or pulled from stacks, cut to size and wrapped tightly around each spaghetti portion. Heat sealing units close each package with a food safe seal that protects the contents from air, moisture, and contaminants. Simultaneously, High-speed labeling machines apply printed labels with all the essential details brand name. Weight. Cooking instructions, nutritional information, expiration date. And even batch numbers for T-R-A-C-E-A-B-I-L-I-T-Y, T-Y, every package must. Meet food safety and labeling standards set by regulatory bodies such as the FDA which is why these factories are equipped with multiple quality control checkpoints. Cameras and barcode scanners verify that labels are properly aligned and printed. Random packages are also pulled from the line for inspection to ensure everything from weight to appearance is within specifications. Only after passing these tests is the spaghetti packed into shipping cartons and sent off to grocery stores, warehouses, and eventually, get dinner tables across America. What's amazing is that even though spaghetti has been a part of culinary history for centuries, the modern techniques used to produce it today are a marvel of engineering. From the exacting science of dough hydration to the delicate art of drying and bundling, every stage is optimized for flavor, quality, and safety. Yet despite all the automation, the end result still carries the soul of traditional pasta-making simple ingredients. Expertly handled, turned into something the whole world loves. So the next time you're stirring a pot of boiling water, watching, those long noodles soften and swirl. Remember that a lot of technology and talent went into every strand. Each package of spaghetti you buy represents a carefully refined process where innovation meets tradition. The end goal is a comforting, Familiar meal that brings people together. Whether you're making classic spaghetti and meatballs, creamy carbonara, or a spicy arabiata, you're part of a global love affair with one of the most versatile foods ever created. If you enjoyed learning about how your favorite foods are made, make sure to like this video, leave your thoughts in the comments, and hit subscribe so you never miss another deep dive into the amazing world of food production.